Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my 144 multi-mod playthrough. And hey look, it's the yellow cockatiel. Uh gonna be fighting the Plague Bringer Goliath here in just a moment. Uh just trying to decide what weapons to use. Hive pod sounds like a good idea. Just got a slime stab from a pinky I killed on the way down here. Uh so we have the Forbidden Oath Blade. Which is actually the entire reason I'm doing this fight right now. The Astral Scythe might work. We have the Soul Harvester. Soul Harvester is a plague weapon, and this is literally the boss of plague. Um, so it's like... Scythe is probably... The Astral Scythe is probably the better option. But its shots do not go through blocks, so... Alright, well, let's get this started here. Oh, you jerk. It's like it knew I had adrenaline. So Calamity just had an update. Uh, version .003 now? Oh, you... I hate that. Yeah, it's... Ah. Uh, it got me. Oh, I had a bunch of money on me. <laughs> Sebastian, you do it, man. You can get in there and show him his boss. Alright, let me go ahead and do that before I forget. Uh, yeah, definitely need to work on better dodging, I think, right? Just gonna trash can that. Actually, speaking of which, I haven't checked out the tracker in quite a while. Uh, yeah, there were, uh, basically it was just a um, like a balance pass on quite a few things, so nothing too amazing right now. What do we have? We have the God Killer. There's an atomic ray of defense penetrating energy. Uh, Davy Jones lockbox. We got the Nimbus. Yeah, there's really not a lot going on here. Isn't there supposed to be? Something for Bone Lee, though. Second, who did I miss there? Casting a Shadow. Oh, that's Tim. Okay. And Dr. Bones. All right. Oh, I'm not too worried about those guys. Icebreaker's Frost Golem. Okay. Uh, weird Spider shows up after you've beaten the uh, Orient Strider. Rune Priest. I'll complete all of the contracts to continue. Really? That sucks. Oh well. Means I actually have to find a Tim in a hard mode. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, hey. What are you selling now, Maxwell? Uh let's see. Is it your name really Maxwell? Oh no, okay, Mixicodal, okay. Mixcoadal. Mysterious Appling from Verdant. Interesting. Hmm. Waterberry bush. Something I might play around with later on. Uh, yeah. Really nothing all that interesting that I need. The other thing I could do is actually go after the um, the cultist again. The cultist is going to unlock most, or the most, from uh, beating him. Hey, I got my money back too. Cool. Uh, quick stack that away. Do this.
Ouch. Ah, I got frozen. Okay. Thing is, this guy hits like a flipping truck. So if I get hit at all, it's uh, bad times. The way he moves around, homing would definitely be the way to go here, I think. Okay. We're into the purple shots now. That's great. Did not get to him in time. It took me a second to realize what he was doing. Ow. Oh, this dragon. Hey, I finally killed the dragon. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, it's getting to be too late to do that fight again. I didn't even put down a turret or a sentry. Actually, I wonder, does the uh, Dryad sell the Prismatic Lace Wing yet, or what? Or was the Dryad that sold that? One of the NPCs sells the, the Lace Wing. I just don't remember who it was. And there goes the arrow climb. Okay. Hey, Spazzy. What's up? Which one is Spazzy? Right? Spazzy the cool slime. Okay. Got him. Oh, and we're right at Stardust Pillar. Or not Stardust, uh, Vortex. So, yeah, I just pushed over to the, uh, my Blight Sword again. The Blighty Cleaver. And, yeah, at that point, just dodge. So. Oh, distorted. Great. Hey, we're getting meld blobs, though. This is taking a little while to kill these things, but we're doing like 3,000 DPS a time, so... And... well, halfway there on the pillar. Put a relic down. Uh, what do we get? Oh, hey, cool. A uh, nimble light and the ancient frost. Okay. Yeah, cool thing about the Hive Pod, it attacks through blocks, so... Apparently these alien queens aren't too smart, so... Hey, there goes first pillar. My mind goes numb. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, would you guys just die? They keep spawning the alien larva in. You know what? If I just go away, you guys will despawn. Although I could just sit there and farm vortex fragments for days. Alright, so... Lore item could go away. Probably not going to need the Thorium Fragments. 
Ancient Flames. Okay. That one. We got ourselves our Manipulator now. Well, I made a Soul Forge too, and there's literally nothing from Thorium that's... It didn't even really match up to Vanilla, so it's like... Uh, it's not a shame. So we can make Meld Constructs, or we can make Meld Blocks out of these. The Construct just requires Stardust, okay. And let's see. Let's just do this way. We'll go to the end and work our way back. Okay, the last knife. Quasar's Flare. Northern Light. Guide's Final Gift. Okay. Black Midi. Doomsayer's Coin. Alright. Runic Treasure Magnet from P-Bones. Okay. Luminite Storage Upgrade. The Vortex Popper. The upgrade to the Xeno Popper. Fires bullets everywhere that pop into bullets. Or bubbles everywhere that pop into bullets. Prideful Hunter's Planar Ripper. Yeah, it requires Luminite, though. Conference Call. The Storm Ruler. Okay, we can actually upgrade this. Fires beams that generate tornadoes on death. Hmm. Could be fun. That's kind of it for that. Uh, to upgrade our Oath Blade, we need... Oh, that's right. They inflicted armor plating, so that's a moot point then. Wasn't there... Yeah, the Bladed Cleaver, we need... A Eula Bloom. Okay, that's a ways away then. I needed one of the fragments for something. Alright, so... Meld Construct. Pick that out. Can we make, like, the really good wings with these or something? Dark Matter Sheath. The Exodus Wings. The Outer requires Luminite. Dang it. Yeah, these things are awesome. This is all post Moon Lord here at this point. Genesis pick. Fates, Entropic Claymore. We can make that now. Okay. There's a spread of homing plasma balls. Hmm. Dark Sun's Wind. Star of Destruction. So I need 15 of these. Okay. And that. Oh. oh, I'm out of meld blobs. I'll take six per. Okay. Uh, Entropic Cleaver. Thank you. Oh, that looks like fun. Does it go through blocks? Mm, barely. Right. Uh, solar Pillar is always good, since I'm doing mostly melee now. Hey, Chance Nightcrawler. Yeah, my mouse button just... I'll be holding it on left click and it just randomly stops working, so... And then it always takes me a little bit to recognize that fact. You know, I'm liking the sword so far, though. I mean, it's... Not bad. I wonder if this would be any better. There we go. They're... Not doing terrible. Uh, yeah. Single target, about a thousand DPS. Single target, about two thousand. Okay. So, yeah. The Entropic Claymore is definitely the higher damage. Well, that's Solar Pillar down. Okay, I'm gonna die here in a second if I'm not careful. And call to PC huge. Yep, a few random fragments. Are... See, they show up on the map now, don't they? Yeah, there's one over here. Got it. 
And since enemies drop the uh, fragments as well as the tower now, um, I can just go kill a couple enemies from the last two towers and check out what I can make. Oh, hello. That's Haley. You are selling something new. Okay. Uh, what's new for you, though? Hold a bee kite. Oh, okay. All right, Mr. Guide, floor fragment. Let's see, the last knife, Skadoosh. Northern Knight, Guide's Final Gift, Essence of Flame. Releases devastating flame blasts on every swing. Hmm. Doomsayer's Coin. The Sun Bun from Calamity's Vanities. Spectral Storm Cannon, Scorched Earth. There's the four fuel air rockets which explode into cluster bombs. Okay. That's uh, Dark Sun Fragment. That's ways away again. Reconic Destruction. Lazar. Okay, we can actually make this one right now, but. Highly volatile concentrated solar beam. Helium Flash. 3000 magic damage. Runicos. Uh, we do need, yeah. Exotic pheromones we can actually make right now. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Uh, let's see. Celestial Sigil. All right. So, honestly, a couple things, right? There was the Essence of Flame, right? Fuller Eruption, Daybreak, as of usual, right? I'm gonna play around with those. Mm, no. Too loud. Like, that would really get on my nerves really quickly in a boss fight or anything else where I have to swing it, you know, for long periods of time. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, there we go. So 219 now. Let's go ahead and I've not used this thing ever, but give that up to Unreal. So we have our nebula pillar over here. Alright, so what can we make of Nebula? There was something I think was Nebula fragments that I wanted. Alright. Um, got some amount of gift. Cat's Eye Great Staff. Okay. Oh, I have Magnus is a thing. It does flat damage. Yeah, it scales with all your damage to the stats at once. Kills mana and health on hit. It's an upgrade of the Lunic Eye, okay. This used to be like a super rare drop from uh which boss it was. Ethereal core. Okay. Need to ask for us for that. I could have sworn there was uh well the Grand Guardian takes it, but Grand Guardian is a true melee weapon, so does tons of damage, but it's a big but, yeah. No range. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should go ahead and make the Lunic Eye, and then I can make the Eye of Magnus. So, let me that put away. Lunic Eye. I have Magnus. Heals mana and health on hit. That sounds kind of good, actually. I don't believe you can reforge these either. So, yeah, this is my new ranged weapon. How annoying is it? Somewhat. Does it home still? Yes, it does. 
And now the Stardust is over, right over my Dryad's house. Okay, cool. Oh, these frickin' Milky Way Weavers. I hate these things so much. Look, that's out my window. Uh, we're at seven Vortex Fragments so far. I want to get to at least, like, ten. Hey, we got 10. 11. Like you turned around whenever you saw me coming for you. Dude, what the hell? Drop your button to lava again. Uh, Emperor's Will. Cursor directed barrage of bullets. Okay. Uh, Stellar Taurus Staff. Okay, it's ways away yet. Luminous Striker, it's a rogue weapon. Starfleet. The Shroomer. Baleful Harvester, might have been it. Normality Relocator. Hmm. Oh, I need Exodium. Okay. And I may have Status Curse, which I'm probably not going to use. But uh, Galactica Singularity is another thing I can make now, and they have more things attached to them. Get your butt. Seriously, Andrew, you suck. Told me suck. He went to go sit at the table of pout. All right, so things I can make right now that do not require luminite. Uh, the quiver of Nihil uh, that requires dark plasma. Never mind. Make the die. <laughs> uh, let's see. Takes 40 luminite to make that, huh? Yeah, that's spendy. Mm, Cosmolite, no. Luminite. Okay, so the rainbow gun plus pearlwood bow is the cosmic rainbow. Launches a barrage of rainbows. Okay. That is what the Stellar Contempt. Oh, it's the upgrade of my Paladin's Hammer. Okay. And... Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of things I can make after I beat the Moon Lord. <laughs> I can make right now the... Uh, the uh, that Rainbow Bow. And the Oath Blade. That was the Infected Armor Plating. I've like checked four times, I keep forgetting. Um, the Entropic Claymore is a material. What do you upgrade into? The Exo Blade. Um, yeah, that's a ways away. What's the upgrade of the Teratomir? Uh, let's see, Teratomir. I need the Hellkite. I need Yield Bloom. Okay, I can make the Hellkite right now. This is what I need here. It's post Providence, unfortunately. She's away. It's a ways away. We're putting this here because it's. I like it better than the Absolute Zero. That can go back on there. This is actually really good for. Anything, you know, close up. Hmm. Kind of curious, actually. I wonder what the Omniblade would do to the Destroyer. Yeah, 
Okay, I have to wait for him to unfold all the way first. Yeah, he still says he's only taken one damage. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, like 5,000 DPS. Okay. There we go. Now I can get in there. I can't quite tank it. But, uh... 7,000, 10,000 DPS. Okay, I died. Yeah. So, no, I'm going to be able to work. Just be a bit more careful than I was. All right. There we go. Finally got around to buying a sharpening station, too. Probably should have been using that for a long time ago. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and put you away, then. That was just an idle curiosity thing. It's not like I need any of the uh, mechanical boss drops for now. Hmm. Should I try the Abomination again now? Or the, uh, Plaguebringer Goliath? The Abomination is the summon item. Goodbye, Pillar. <laughs> there we go. So much going on, I couldn't see exactly where my character was. It's like, I need to get down this, you know, drop shaft somehow, but... And there we go. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I don't keep this in my hopper. So we do that. That, 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 that. There we go. Dang it. Ow. Wow, okay. That was quick. I was reduced to nutrient-rich sludge. It's kind of my bad for not going down there with full health, too. Well, had full health. I didn't have my uh, potion cooldown done. All right, and... There we go. Ah. So we got the plushie. Four item. And yeah, there's still stuff here that, okay. Plague containment brick. Okay, cool. Oh, we got the plague staff. Okay. The syringe. Throwing weapon. The diseased pike. Infected armor plating. We got the relic, which I don't think I can put anywhere around here. So I think I can pop it. No, I can't because that's actuated blocks there, not a background wall. Put it down here, though. And we got the toxic heart. All right, let me get out of here then. What else can we make with the plague plate? Or the infected, infected armor plating. Uh, just exalted oath blade, plague tainted SMG, system bane. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, this is the researched items, including the plague turret. Hmm. Cannot attack while the boss is alive. Okay, yeah. We're good for events, but maybe something to mess around with in the future. Frog only memory. Yeah, so basically the Exalted Oath Blade is the only thing I really want. No, that can go. It's not even a material. And there's that. Or that. Hey, Indigo has arrived. And. 
I think I'm... Oh, yeah, I need to put you in there, too, right? Might help so I can get the Exalted Oath Blade. Okay, so what are we looking at damage profiles? 309 versus 214. Okay. And there is one more upgrade, it looks like, for this. Devil's Devastation. Requires Cosmolite and Nightmare Fuel. Okay. Requires a spread of demonic size. Pitchforks rise from the underground to skewer your foes. Okay, that sounds like fun, too. Let me get this thing. Pretty sure I can retire the Blighted Cleaver. I'm going to keep that around. This is homing that can travel through blocks. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Lunar Event. Astrum Deus is actually after the Cultist. So, but we have Empress of Light, which I haven't hit up yet. I haven't gotten any of the uh, Prismatic Lace Wings yet, so it's like... Because my Hallow is almost non-existent because of where the Astral landed. Uh, let's see. You guys were right in there, weren't you? Uh, let's see. Do we have... Hello seeds, yeah, here we go. I accidentally called down some things from the uh, fortress because I went too high. Well, let me take care of this guy here. All right, apparently there's invaders up here in the Sky Fortress. Oh, God. Don't get hit by that. But, oh, well, I'm back. Uh, you. So we're getting stuff called Invader Scrap. We also got... Invader Caster Staff. Oh, cool. Uh, the God Sea Kill Card. Mm. And... Where is the... I don't need that. I don't need those. You know, I was picking up something called Invader Scrap, and I don't see it. Oh, well. These I can turn into holy water, which is the whole reason I got them. I need pixie dust, though. Dang it. Oh, invader scrap. Here it is. Okay. thought it was platforms. Dart. We got landers. Receptacles. Protector. The invader fork. Oh, that's right. This is the actually a really good whip. Minions will spawn missiles on hit to do 50% of the minions' damage. All right, yeah, I've kind of I've checked that stuff out before. Didn't realize that Behemoth was a thing though. That uh, kind of sort of ruined me a little bit. Also, I'm guessing it's like a boss or summon thing. God seek kill card, a key card. Ow. No, I don't use it here, okay. Hectic up here, isn't it? <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Got a tile staff times two. Okay. What about you do, little guy? I never have fought that guy either. All right, so I have no idea how to use this. There is a mention in the changelog for Cordy's that a new boss was added in version .9. Uh, yeah, that's that's as far as it goes, right? I'm not sure. Uh, let's go to here. Greater Fork Fortified Sniper Staff. Okay, that's it. Yeah, Ritual Interrupter. Ancient Emblems. I got a bunch of these. I should at least fight that guy, right? Get him out of the way. Need Loon Bars and Shining Cores. Okay. Mech Crossbow Staff. Upgrade the Loon Archer. Okay. Shoots arrows from your inventory at enemies. High Priest Summon Staff. Soul of Height. This is a Kaelin. That might be from this, but I'm not sure how to get the battleship to slip on in. So. Maybe something to do with the Rune Ghost? Okay, well, we're going to summon this guy in. Here we go. Got the trophy, we got the treasure bag, we got... Hey, we got the nuke. Alright. I'm just gonna trash can, like, everything here. Remember quickly, I have to summon this guy at night. Okay, yeah, that's getting to be fun now. Oh, I died. Dang. I was reduced to sad meat. Oh my God. things are still coming after me. I can stop. <laughs> Let me get that out. There we go. Uh, we can put this away for now. Grab another one of those. Oh, hey, I got a rabbit's foot. Cool. Out. 
It's getting kind of hard to dodge these runes because I can't see them through all the other things going on on the screen right now. My coolie's dead. All right. Oh, and I died too. Yeah, th the things are still going on. <laughs> Dang it. Ow. Jerk. Oh, good. I think we're good finally. Okay, we got the relic. We got treasure bag. We got hyper runestone. It makes other dashes more powerful. It can be used to grant a dash on its own. It makes you invincible while dashing every four seconds. That can be really broken. But I kind of like the idea of it too. Sniper, wrong, longbow, nuke, leech rune staff, runic throw, leech runes, chance to steal life. Okay. No, and then the old lord summon. Yeah. Okay. Don't feel like fighting old lord right now. Apparently, it gave me penguins as well. Hmm. Kind of tempting, actually. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.